All right, 1445 Brandywine Boulevard here in Belfont. And tell you what, we're gonna spin around and show you this. Uh, listed by, I will say, one of the best agents around, <laughs> Carl Wallig at Remax. And uh, have some friends right across the street there and up here, um, I believe it's for water management. As you can see, it goes down there. There's Carl. Looks like this was recently gone over. That's so really nice. And uh, you can see plenty of space to turn around. We'll do the outside first. A little bit of the pool. I think he said the pool's closing up this weekend. So this will be the last glimpse of it. And then show you the inside. So double gate here, which is nice. If you want to pull something in there and cut it, the bigger tractor. So I'll actually uh, use the main one. All right, nicely bl painted black, beautifully landscaped. I like this too. Keep the rocks, the railroad ties, stamped concrete. And then what everyone's been waiting for, perfectly sized pool in my opinion. Leave it there. All right, childproof lock doesn't fool me. No, uh, it continues here. Oh, this is nice. With a diving board, you don't see them these days as much, but here's the view. And look at that view. Beautiful, Carl. Let's go all the way around. Looks like the two areas there. The pool itself is all fenced in as well. Wow, very nice. So shed in the back. Let's pop this and go. And let's see if there's anything on the side here. Just so we uh, leave no stone unturned. There's a gate here too. Here's the AC unit. And sneak around. We're gonna pop our shoes off anyway. So we've got a train. Here's a train unit. Very, very nice. Electric meters there. Gonna sneak around here. All right. I don't want to hold anyone else up, but I did see someone else come by. Uh, but this is a good sense. You see how far you are situated away from the main road here. And there you are. In all its glory. So let's head on in. I like the brick walkway. Leading up to the brick, little porch area. And we're popping our shoes off. All right. So, nice entryway as soon as we walk in. Let's see what we got going on here. The garage. So three steps up to the garage. Also goes in there, I like that. And storage up above. So two windows. All right. Hardwood floors. That's gotta be a coat closet. Coat closet, step down here. Little sunken living room, fireplace. I like this. Very nice, crown molding. Girl, you have a notification on your device. <laughs> All right, dining room, step back up. Crown molding, wainscot, let's see. All right, that's definitely staying. Spin here without getting dizzy. Half bathroom, good size. It's a one piece toilet and the kitchen. Nice fan. So I'll pull you back. Gas cooking. Wow, it's beautiful. All right, I really like this window. Good taste, whoever put that in there. So, pub height here, raised, three seats. Do we have laundry or pantry? Laundry or pantry, we have mini pantry. All right. And uh, quality sign there, too. So walk out here from the sliders if you want to see the pool. And then, sorry, this room isn't ready to be shown yet. <laughs> Did he? That's the way to do oh, oh, It's not ready to be shown yet. Hello, you are right. That is not ready to be shown yet. <laughs> All right. But as you see, a door out there. And uh, I think he has it set up as his office. So that is perfect office space. I wonder if that wraps around and goes into the garage. Let's just mine that this. All right. Wow, okay. A lot, of, a lot of nooks here. Another closet here. Dueling closets, left and right. Could we map out this entire area? And yes. If we're gonna venture here and around, that's exactly what that goes into. So you can pull right into the garage and pull right in there if that's your office space. 
And, yep, blocked off, as I would imagine. Okay, cool. All right, I have to complete that and know exactly what we're dealing with. But that's nice for privacy if you wanna make that someone's bedroom. Remember, they have their own private entrance in there. It's kind of nice. You have someone working, you know, in your family late or odd hours. They don't disturb the rest of the people when they come in. Okay, first floor is taken care of. Up we go. <laughs> I'm thinking how you clean that nook. The duster from here. <laughs> All right, so down there could be a bedroom. We're gonna say it is in my account. So that's one. This would be bedroom two. Very nice carpets. King bed. Crown molding in here as well. Just taking a peek. Do they go all the way across? Nope, they're separate. Closet one and closet two. All right, and this will give you the sense of how large this is. Because it's a king bed with two nightstands. Plenty of room. Uh, let's see if this is raised up, because there might be hardwoods. You know that is raised up? I'll just ask Carl. So remember, I'm counting one down. So that's two, this is three. I'm not even gonna mess up the pattern. Very nice there. I like the carpet. All right, closet. Okay, so three main bedrooms up here, one down there, and this one has a fireplace. A fireplace. Check that out. This is your primary. I'll take you around. Awesome closet. That's almost a room in my opinion. And primary bath, we have the soaking tub. The shower, which is probably three by three. It's a good size. Goes all the way up, towel it up. Semi-private toilet area. There you are. And while you're here, in a view of your pool. That's stunning. All right. I think we have most of the upstairs taken care of. Make sure we didn't miss anything. And we did not. So now we'll venture down to the basement. Right before the next agent shows up, I'm sure. Pop that up. Okay, so get your bearings. We're gonna back into the dining room. So you see how large this entranceway is. A lot of nooks here. Not your uh, cookie cutter house by any stretch of the imagination. The carpet down here into the basement. So, whoa, that was tiled. All right. Maybe this was tiled too, or you know what? They probably have carpet. We have tax stripping here. This is raised up. So that's a floating floor in case water ever comes in this area. I think that's what that's designed for. All right, there's your panel. <laughs> Raised laundry, I love it. Plenty of height on the ceiling. You got a crawl space there. Some pump there. And look at that. That is cool. All right, two sinks. Pads here, nice, neat, and clean. PVC for the drain. So that's one section of the basement. This should be under the stairs, some storage. Ah, add a shelf, nice touch. This is a room without egress. You know, not technically a bedroom, but it could uh, could work as an office, playroom. This bumps out, let's see what's in this corner. And yeah, I would say my personal opinion is vinyl plank. So it does have a French drain. The water comes in there. All right, this is nice. All right, that's the rundown. You can get you back upstairs and uh, that'll complete the tour. But not many homes in North Wilmington with a pool, number one. That's gorgeous. All right, I'm actually gonna go this way, not to confuse you. I'm gonna leave you with a shot of the kitchen. I pull back. And I will leave you right there with the final glimpse of the pool. There you go.